Double is an emitter type quirk that allows the user to create copies of anything the user wants. The user of this quirk is Jim Bubaiguara, also known as Twice. He is a major villain who is a member of the League of Villains and one of the nine lieutenants of the Paranormal Liberation Front. Double has multiple definitions in the dictionary that are all relevant to this quirk, consisting of two equal, identical, or similar parts or things, a person who looks exactly like another, and to become twice as much or as many. It's a very basic word and I'm sure I didn't even have to define it since it's not as complex as some of the other quirk names, but it's really easy to see why a single word fits this quirk so well. With this quirk, Twice has the ability to create a copy of anything he wants as long as he has a clear image of it in his mind. This can range from inanimate objects to people. He can only create two clones at a time, one for each hand. When he uses this ability, a dark brown liquid oozes from his hands and takes the form of a person or object he is cloning. This means his hands are his quirk factor as he needs them in order to actually make use of this quirk. In order to clone a person, knowledge of precise measurements and physical features are necessary for it to be perfect. This includes chest measurements, shoe size, and all sorts of data. Without a deep understanding of the person or object he is cloning, he would just produce malformed garbage. When creating a clone, the physical body is going to be created in the exact physical condition it was in when he took their measurements. This was made clear with Toga because she never let Twice take her measurements prior prior to her getting brutally injured by the Meta Liberation Army, so he had to take her measurements on the spot to give her a blood transfusion and save her life. The clone he made wasn't in perfect health, it was in the exact same physical shape Toga was in that moment. However, the memory of the clones would be from the last time they interacted with Twice. Therefore, if Twice measured Shigaraki prior to him receiving an injury, but then he interacted with Shigaraki after receiving that injury, the clone would be of Shigaraki without any injuries, but his memories would include himself having the injury. A lot a lot of these restrictions don't apply to Twice when he is duplicating himself because he knows himself pretty well. Any double he creates would have the same personality, abilities, and quirks as the original. The main difference between a clone and the original is that the clone breaks down after taking a certain amount of damage. Twice once claimed physical injury equivalent to a broken bone would destroy a clone. The second duplicate Twice makes will always be more fragile than the first. Since Twice can copy himself, his clones can also use the double quirk as well and therefore bypass the two clone limit. He can theoretically create infinite copies of himself. He is also capable of detecting destruction of his clones from far distances. This is pretty useful as it allows for him to know when he is or isn't at his clone limit. These clones also cannot be destroyed by Aizawa's erasure quirk. Jin Bubaiguara initially used double as a way to cope with his loneliness as he had no close friends or family to interact with. He eventually began committing crimes and used his clones as servants since he was lazy. The clones also had the same lazy personality Jin had so they resented him for making him do slave work and they ended up rebelling. They all felt like they were the real Jin and others were fakes so they began to kill each other while the real Jin could only watch and become traumatized as he was strapped to a chair. After surviving that incident he developed an identity crisis as he didn't know if he was the real Jin or if he was just a clone. This also made him too scared to ever clone himself again, therefore handicapping his own abilities tremendously. He eventually overcame this trauma when facing the Meta Liberation Army because they broke his bones and he knew he would have disintegrated from the damage if he was a clone. This resolved his identity crisis and allowed him to use his ability to its fullest potential. A miscellaneous fact about this quirk, the doubles created with this quirk actually melt away when the original dies, which would have been useful information that could have helped twice with his inner struggle if there were any way he could have tested it out. And a truly useless fact, Jin Bubaiguara's double is very similar to Momo Yagorozu's creation quirk, as they both can create objects with enough data. However, creation cannot create living organisms like double and the durability of objects created with creation would be equal to the actual durability of the object unlike double. This quirk is definitely one of the most dangerous quirks in the world, especially since it's in the hands of a criminal. Not only is it powerful in and of itself, but it could also be used in very sneaky ways as well, like killing a politician and replacing them with a clone to give off the impression that they are still alive. This quirk also has the potential to do great things for society as well. For example, if double were able to measure All Might before he had lost his power and had to retire, he would have been able to make a copy of him and the world could have still had its symbol of peace. It really is a shame that Twice had to choose the villain path because I know he could have made a great hero. And with that, I think we can officially commit double to the quirk registry.